This is the homework for 945, 948, and 949. And always remember, be kind to animals. In problem 945, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. First, we need to find the scale factor from triangle ABC to triangle DEF. So here's triangle ABC, and we want to find the scale factor from this triangle to DEF. And you notice that it's an increasing in size. So we know that since it's increasing in size, it's going to be greater than 1. A scale factor of 1 would um, keep it the same size. A scale factor less than 1 would decrease the size. So since we're going from this triangle to this triangle, from small to big, we know it's going to be increasing in size. If we were going from DEF to ABC, you know we would be decreasing it, so it would have to be a scale factor less than 1. So for the scale factor, we can see that it's, um, we have two um, given values from corresponding sides. So um, A, B, and D, E, it's from 3 to 15. And what are we multiplying? Because we're increasing it by, because you can t tell we're going from small to big. What are we increasing it by from, to get from 3 to 15? Well, if we have 3 and we're multiplying it by a number to get 15, well, that number, we're trying to find out what it is. So we divide both sides by 3. And this is a big one, 15 divided by 3. And we get W equals 5. So we know we have the scale factor of 5 or 15 thirds. So um, from 3, we multiply it by 5 to get 15. And we can also get Y the same way, because the scale factor, they're similar triangles, so their corresponding sides um, will have the same scale factor. So 8 multiplied by 5 would give us 40, so Y equals 40. In order to find X, well, we have the big value, of the, the, the length of the, for the big triangle, and it's so to go to its corresponding side, we know we're going to have to decrease. So we're really going to do the inverse of multiplying by 5. We're going to divide by 5. And 38, divi 38 and 5 tenths divided by 5. Here we have 38 and a half divided by 5 equals 7 and 7 tenths. So x is going to equal 7 and 7 tenths. For 948, we need to graph the system of equations. And in order to do that, we have y equals negative x plus 1. Well, this is the growth rate, or the slope. And it's a negative, and we can have a negative 1. Or we can also write negative 1 as negative 1 over 1. And this is our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis at positive 1. And our slope is going to be a negative slope. So we know it's going to be sloping towards the negative x's. And it's going to be a positive 1 ne over negative 1. Rise positive 1, negative 1. Or I can um, rise negative 1 and run positive 1. Negative 1, positive 1. For the second equation is y equals 2x plus 7. Our y-intercept is at positive 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the y-axis. There's our y-intercept. And this one's going to have a positive slope of 2. So I could go positive 2 over positive 1. Or I can do negative 2 and negative 1, because a negative divided by negative is a positive. And anywhere that I have um, a point, I would get that same rate of change, positive 2 over 1, P 
positive 2 over 1. Where these points intersect, where they cross, this is called the point of intersection, is the solution to this system, negative 2 comma negative 3. So our x is negative 2 and our y is negative 3. And this is the only ordered pair that I can put in for x as negative 2. Negative, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 multiplied by negative 2, that's where I get the negative 2, is negative 4, plus 3, I mean plus 7 is 3. This is the only solution that would work for both equations. Make sure that you always plug them back in, your solution, to both equations to make sure that it's true. For 48b, we needed to solve the system by equal values method. And so we know that y equals negative x plus 1. So if that's what y equals, we could substitute it in to this equation for y. So instead of y, we're going to have negative x plus 1. That's where we got it from here. And now that we set these two equations equal to each other, we solve for x. Add x to both sides. And now we have 3x. Subtract, inverse property of addition and subtraction. We subtract 7 from both sides. 1 minus, six is, one minus 7 is negative 6. Inverse property of Multiplication is division. We created the big one. What you do to one side, you do the other. Negative 6 divided by 3 is going to equal negative 2. So we have x equals negative 2. Well, that's what, y, that's what x equals. So now we can substitute it back into either of the equations. And for me, it's easier to substitute it into this first equation, I mean, this bottom equation. So instead of x, we're going to get negative 2. So we have 2 multiplied by negative 2, which I have here. y equals 2 multiplied by negative 2, which is negative 4, plus 7 equals 3. And that's what we got for y um, in when we solved by graphing. And so the solution to the system, negative 2 comma negative 3. For problem 949, we need to s find x and then classify the triangle as acute, right, or obtuse. And remember, acute, the greatest m angle measure is less than 90. A right angle's greatest measure is 90 degrees. And an obtuse, the greatest angle, is greater than 90. So first, we're going to solve for x. And remember that the um, sum of the interior angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees. So we have x plus 40 plus 80 equals 180 degrees. Now we combine like terms. 80 plus 40 is 120. Inverse property of addition is subtraction, so we subtract 120 from both sides, and we get x equals 60. So if we go back here, x equals 60, the greatest angle measure is 80 degrees, so that's an acute triangle. For 49b, remember that the sum of the interior angles equals 180 degrees. So we're going to add 2x plus 96 plus x plus 12, x plus 12 equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms, 2x plus x equals 3x, 96 plus 12 equals 108. Inverse property of addition is subtraction, so we subtract 108 from both sides, and we get 3x equals 72. Divide both sides by 3. Gets um, the big one, 72 divided by 3. Seven. 3x equals 72. Divide both sides by 3. We get a big one here. 72 divided by 3 is 24. x equals 24 degrees. If we go back up to our equation, I mean our triangle, 
we see that the greatest uh, measure is 96 degrees. And since 96 is greater than 90 degrees, it's an obtuse angle.